If this is your first time to use the enhanced class scheduling system, the first thing that we need to do is to set up the application. The first step is to log in as administrator. And then under the management tab, choose setup. From this window, we have several settings that we need to set up. Let's start with the college. Under the setting, we need to add the name of our college. And then we choose the college dean. And then we click the update button. Now we have successfully added a new college. Now let's go to the course setting. In this setting, we need to add the name of the programs under our college. And then we set the prefix of this program that we are adding. And then we have to set up on what department that this program is offered. And then click the update button. So we have successfully added a new program under Computer Studies Department. Now let's choose the curriculum setting. Here is the place where you're going to add the new curriculum of your program. So let's start by giving it a name. And then we set the course who will be using this curriculum. And then we click the update button. While the new added curriculum is selected, we may now proceed on adding new courses for this curriculum. So we click the new button at the bottom and then we specify the year level, the semester, the department in charge who will be teaching this course and the course code. And then we click save. So we have now successfully added a new course under this curriculum. Let's look into the existing curriculums so that we can see how it looks like if we have already completed the courses of the curriculum. Now let's proceed to the department setting. So this is the place where you're going to add the name of your department. And then you choose the chairperson for this department. And then the name of the college of this department. And then we click the update button. So we have successfully added a new department. Now let's go to the faculty members. This is the place where you're going to add the name of your faculty members. So we start by clicking the new button at the bottom. We specify the ID number and the ID number must be unique. So to avoid duplication, use the employer number of your faculty member. We specify the user group of the faculty member and the user group has to do with the accessibility of the system. The admin has a complete access to the features of the system, while faculty user group can only access form A and workload. For the chairperson, it is the same as the admin user group. And then we set the password. We set the status to active if the user will be using the system, otherwise inactive. But in this case, we will assume that the user, this faculty member, 
will be using the system so let's set this to active pf role we will set this to none and then for the department tab we will check the department where this faculty member will be teaching and then click save we can search the name of the faculty using the search bar at the top of the list and we can now see the faculty member that we have added just a moment ago next we go to the rooms in this window you have to add all the rooms that your college is using we type the name of the room then set the type of the room if it is a lecture room or a laboratory room then we set the size of the room and then we click the update button now let's go to the school year so this is the place where you will be adding the school year so from and to let's start here 2024 to 2025 and then click the update button and we have now successfully added a new school year now we go to the semester this is where we will add the names of the semesters and then the last one is the default settings under the default settings we have three tabs the logo the letterhead and the default department under the logo you have to choose the logo of the university and the logo of your department under the letterhead you set your desired letterhead for the report that you will be creating and for the default department choose the name of your department and after completing this click the update button And that's all the needed steps that you need to do for you to set up the enhanced class scheduling system. So congratulations, you have now successfully set up the enhanced class scheduling system.